Hi there. So today I want to speak a little bit about the contentious issue of twisting or not twisting your conductors when you're making them off in a socket, light fitting, whatever it may be. Now back in the day, I was taught to twist. Now I was taught back in the 15th edition. The premise being, if one falls out, both fall out. If both fall out, you'll find a fault because see when you put your plug-in tester in your socket, then you'll get some kind of fault with it. No live, earth neutral fault, whatever. These days, and now we're on to the 18th edition, they're saying, don't twist your conductors. And it's for a very similar reason. If both fall out and they're twisted, you might still have good continuity going through that circuit. Sockets, it doesn't matter so much because you'll pick it up on your testing. Uh, when you put your plug-in tester into a socket, you'll know if one of the wires isn't there. And the lighted circuit you might not do because it could be a common wire, it could be neutral behind the light switch, whatever it may be. So they're saying don't twist your conductors. So if one falls out, you'd lose continuity party circuit, whatever it may be. Uh, and when it comes to the actual uh, connections themselves, yeah, they're both just as good, you know. It's uh, Let's quickly pop them into this socket. So you make them off in your socket, like fitting, whatever, and they're both solid. You know, I'm wrenching on them and that's never going to get that kind of pressure. The time you're going to get a fault is when you're pushing that back onto the back box and something's going to fall out. So what can I say? We've got to move with the times. The 18th edition, and what I'm teaching the kids these days is not to twist. It's quicker and easier not to twist. So I'm going to change my advice and don't twist your connectors. Well, I hope that was useful. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks. See you on the next one.